I am Rhonda Four of VirtueWorksForYou.com, helping stay-at-home moms and women entrepreneurs grow businesses, get quality leads and sales with visual content marketing and social media on hectic schedules with ease and with maximum productivity. The name of this video is My Social Media Network Marketing excuse me, my social media networking strategy, a simple plan to grow your network and increase your visibility. Now, networking on social media should very much be a part of your content strategy if your goal is to build a loyal audience of your ideal customers and or clients who absolutely love your content. Who will listen, read, or watch if you're not meeting and talking to people? regularly preferably your ideal audience if you're not networking it's your networking that makes or breaks your business then everything else falls into place networking also helps increases your content visibility as your growing network will see your posts in their social media feeds or you can say social media page feeds and the stories so if you're not doing so already Make the effort and time to grow your social media network daily. Okay, and so I'm going to get in to talk about how I grow my network and on social media and visibility for my social media content. So first of all, you want to create a free account on Calendly.com. Calendly.com. Calendly is this software in which you schedule meetings on the days and the times that suits you. And then you also need to create a free account on Zoom. Zoom is a video conferencing software you can, where you can get on a video conference with someone or a video meeting or what have you. It has uh, many purposes for business, but many people also use it to communicate with their clients and communicate with people in their network. So create free accounts of those two software. I would put the links down in the comments. And the good part about it is Calendly allows you to integrate with Zoom. So when you give people your Calendly link and they schedule a day and time to get on what we call networking chats and network coffee chats with them it'll send you and them an email message that they schedule their meeting and all they have to do is click that link to log into zoom both you and the person you gonna be chatting with and there you are you on your uh zoom video chat the day um, on time that you all schedule the meeting. So you want to do that first. And <clears throat> of course, while you get that set up, you want to be continuing to connect and networking with people. And I say at least network with two to five people per day. Okay. Because growing your network is a daily task. Okay. <laughs> and Next, when you all get on that networking chat, no selling, no pitching. Both of you, and since you are the one that initiated the chat, now you're going to ask them, and you can ask them when you connect with them, you know, introduce yourself a little bit and, you know, tell them, you know, would you like to get on a coffee chat with me sometimes? And these coffee chats don't have to be that long. They can be 15 to 20 minutes, just enough to, you know, get to know each other a little better. And what you both do, uh, the what your brand's about, your background, your goals and dreams, okay? And so on that chat, you're going to talk about... You both gonna introduce yourselves. You taking, um, you know, starting it off since you the person that invited them, and to get on the coffee chat. You both are gonna introduce yourselves. Talk about what you do. Talk about how you help people, and 
you know, you can also talk about your dreams, goals, and little other subjects, you know, things you have in common, you know, it's up to you. Uh, it's not hard to have a networking chat, okay? And then you also, on that networking chat, you can invite, invite them to follow you on social media. Now, if you have some a YouTube channel, uh, hashtag your own custom-made hashtag on social media, uh, for example, on LinkedIn, people have used hashtags a lot, not so much on Facebook, but on LinkedIn they do. And many people have their own custom hashtags, so they, you know, invite people to follow their content on social media. Uh, v and on LinkedIn in particular, in this particular case, example I'm using, they invite people to follow their hashtags so people uh, will see their content in their feeds, okay? And so... Yes, and so both of you can exchange links to each other, social media pages, YouTube channel, what have you, to follow each other's content and to engage. Now, you definitely want to engage the people you are constantly meeting and networking with. You want to engage their social media. Uh, make sure that they are seeing you a lot so they won't forget you. Now, if you are meeting a lot of people, you feel that you are going to forget them. You can create a list of all the people that you are following and net, have connected with, networking with on social media. That'll help you keep up with your connects or network even better. Okay? And then, which is number five, I hadn't numbered them, but number five, <laughs> you want to stay in contact, okay? And that's the purpose I say, you know, as you meet more people and your network grows, you want to keep a contact list. Stay in contact with the people you are networking with. Don't lose contact because you don't want to meet someone on social media one time and then just don't see them again, okay? You want to keep your your content in their feed. You want them to continue to see your face, okay? And that's the purpose of inviting them onto a networking chat and, you know, to get to know them, not only through that chat about who they are, what they do, and also talk about who you are and what you do you, you know, want to also get to know them through their content as well, okay? And like I said, you want to target people who are your ideal clients and who you want to serve, who you feel that your content will best help, okay? And so I'm going to go back through the steps, which is very easy. So create a free account on both Calendly and Zoom. I put those links in the description. Connect with two to five people per day. Get in DMs, get in messengers, start up a conversation. Ask them, how are you doing today? Um, my name is such and such, and I see that you do this or that. Would you like to jump on a networking chat so that we can get to know each other a little better? And <clears throat> the thing about getting up on a um, networking chat, which is video live time, it's like uh, getting, the, you know, making the connection more legitimate. You, you know, since we cannot interact face to face a lot right now because of the COVID-19, you know, video is the next best thing to connect with someone in person. You can, net, you can connect with them in virtually and you can put 
an actual face and voice to their name, you know, because, you know, it's better than just staying in the DMs or the messengers chatting, actually getting on the phone, actually getting on that video with them is, is just, you know, like solidifies the connection and it's the beginning of a new relationship. Okay. Then number three, you want to talk about who you are, who they are. You talk about your brands, your goals and dreams. Remember, no selling, no pitching. Number four, invite them to follow you on social media. Exchange links, YouTube channels, hashtags, pages. Number five, stay in contact with them, okay? Could engage their content, get back in the messenger, the DMs, check up on them every so once in a while. And that's pretty much it for social media content and social media networking. Okay. And so if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you love the content on this channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell symbol for alerts. And before I close out, let me know what your networking strategy on social media. How do you go about connecting with people and getting them to interact, engage with your content? Okay, and so you all thanks for watching and have a great day.